IM Motors are releasing their new car, the IM L6 EV. Uh, so some Chinese news outlets have been saying that it is a solid state battery, but it is not. So just a brief overview of what that issue is. Solid state batteries use a solid electrolyte instead of a liquid electrolyte found in traditional lithium ion batteries. Uh, the solid electrolyte provides a stable platform for ion transport between the cathode to the anode. Uh, and that improves safety, prevents issues like uh, electrolyte leakage, thermal runaway, dendrite formations, things like that. They can be charged quickly. Uh, in semi-solid state batteries, the active materials in the electrodes are suspended in a semi-solid or kind of a gel-like electrolyte matrix. So that is the difference. So uh, you get a lot of the benefits of actually having a solid state battery but it's not a solid state battery. So just so we're all in the know about this new lingo that's going around these days because people are seemingly trying to cash in on the semantics with words like solid state or semi-solid state. The mainstream media are doing this as well with hydrogen. That's kind of annoying, isn't it? But uh, interestingly, they never mention the fact that it takes 60 kilowatt hours of electricity to create and then pump enough hydrogen into your car to drive it 80 miles once it's in your car. It doesn't, the, the maths don't add up with hydrogen, obviously, that's why it's kind of not gone anywhere. And it's incredibly expensive. And uh, even I think there was a group of people set up by the Australian government and they got some really clever scientists together and they came out and said basically trains, buses, and trucks, hydrogen could be viable. Anything else, it can't be viable. Certainly not in everybody's ordinary car. You can't have a massive system with 13,000 PSI in a car that consumes so much energy to put it into the car just so that we can go drive and, and pick our bread up, basically. So the IM L6 is a new car that will come with two battery models which are planned for the L6 uh, vehicle. So that's a 75 kilowatt hour version with a lithium ion battery and a 100 kilowatt hour model with the semi-solid state battery tech. And in China, there will also be a 130 kilowatt hour version. The smaller battery is expected to offer 241 realistic miles uh, after you adjust the CLTC rating and you take 30-35% off to something much closer to the EPA, which is pretty accurate these days in the West and in Europe. Uh, and the larger battery will go for 323 miles once you've adjusted that too. For those of you that are new to the channel, I'm Ben Alexander. This is The Charge Show. Thank you for watching. For, uh, thank you for joining me. Uh, please feel free to put your comments down in the comment section below. And I also do have Patreon and YouTube memberships if anyone wants to chuck me a dollar every month or just a one-off payment of a dollar. That's really nice just to help me keep on going making these videos. It will be in the UK and in Europe in the first half of 2025 and we don't know the performance specs officially but the dual motor version will most likely be you know, not to 100 kilometers per hour under three seconds or about three seconds. Uh, because of the 900 volt architecture, it can charge up to 400 kilowatts uh, realistically. And the top spec version will cost around 36,000 pounds or 42,000 euro, something like that. IM, which stands for Intelligent Mobility, was actually established in 2020 by Sake Motor company. Uh, that's the parent company of MG actually as well, uh, for those of you that don't know that. The company's primary focus is on electric vehicles and uh, it currently offers the L7, LS7 uh, mid-size SUV models in other markets. Nobody knows if any of these will really come to the UK, these are the two models. What do you all think about this new brand from Sake? I, I think I've got to say that. Uh, they make some really nice cars, fantastic cars, they really do. Uh, if you don't know really what a Sake car might look or feel like compared to ones we've been used to from legacy or, uh, you know, automakers, go and test drive uh, an MG4, basically, if you're curious. Uh, some people go crazy in the comments about the fact that they are state-owned by China. What, uh, what do you think about this? Good or bad? Have you got any thoughts? Put it in the comments below.